Hey, Joe Gilder here. Let's talk about how to comp in Studio One. What is comping? It's where you record multiple takes of a part, and then you pick and choose the best bits to comp together to compile. Compile, maybe? Together to create your final version. So really common with vocals and really anything. I like to use it a lot for guitar solos because I'm not a great lead guitar player. I know what I want to do, but my fingers don't tend to play along. So this allows me to do, let's say, three takes and then take the best bits of each to create the final version. Now, insert comments from someone saying, I remember back when real musicians could play and we didn't need all this fancy technology. All right, you go have fun. We're going to have fun using our fancy technology. So uh, here is this section. I actually recorded this solo already. I just didn't like what I got. I feel like I got a better one in me, so it's another day. So I'm just going to mute it and going to record a few takes here and then we will compile them together. Um, so yeah, let's start. I'll give myself a pre-roll of two measures and let's cross our fingers and see what happens. Here we go. Not the worst thing in the world, but not the best thing in the world. I'm going to turn it up a little bit, and let's try another one. Now, what do we do? That one's there. I want to keep that, and so I'm going to come up here to the layers section. Hold on. Shush. Layers, and just go to add layer, and it's going to basically make it look like that one never happened. It's going to ask me what I want to call it. I just use the default name. Then we can record again. You can assign all of this to key commands, but I'm just showing you where to go to click it if you want to be the kind of person who clicks things. Here we go. <laughs> That one was certified hot garbage, but we'll keep it just to demonstrate. Let's do one more. <laughs> Okay, pride aside, pride aside, let's find the best one of those. So what do we do from here? We recorded some takes, and actually, just for the, for the sake of clarity, let's just get rid of everything, and let's just show our solo. And I guess the folder's going to come with it. All right, so now we've got all those takes, but where are they? We could come in here and switch between them. And like literally like copy and paste from one to the other, but that's dumb. Let's expand these layers. And you can do that with this teeny tiny little button right here. Click on that. It will expand the layer so we can see them all. So I don't, I've got three layers. I'd like a fourth layer that'll be my 
like a blank slate, like my comp layer. So I'm gonna make one more, add one more layer and call this comp. And so that becomes the top one. And then we see the three other ones down here. And what happens now is if I hit play right now, we will hear absolutely nothing. Because we're listening to the the comp track, whatever is the active one right now, which is nothing. We're just seeing these as ones that are kind of hiding underneath waiting to be promoted. But if we want to listen to them, there's two things we can do. We could either do this, which promotes it. <laughs> but I don't necessarily want to do that because I'm not sure that's the one that I want. So instead of that, we can actually press this little solo button here, which lets us listen to, it does, it's not the solo in the way you're thinking of it. This is just letting us hear this layer instead of the active layer. So we can go through listening to each of these until we find the one that we want. And I wonder actually, let's check this out. I wonder if the whole uh, solo fall, follow selection works inside of layers. Um, no, it doesn't. Okay, so never mind. Forget that. All right, so let's listen to the first one. Fine. And the third. They're all kind of fine. It's hard to tell without hearing the rest of the music. Let's try it again here. The f I like the first one kind of all the way through until that last little ending. Let's see if the third, I like first and third better. Let's see if the third one feels any better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So here's, this is, it's happening. It's happening, everyone. Uh, I like the first three phrases. The, I like the first two phrases of take three. So we're going to highlight over these, and it just promotes it. And we're going to kind of just ignore that for a second. Then we're going to listen to, I like the last part of this phrase, too. The Let's solo the whole thing so we can hear it a little better. That little ban and loo. I tried it on the first one, I didn't get it. Kind of flubbed it. So this third one is better. But I don't like the previous part of this one right here. That little note right there, I kind of flubbed. And I think I probably have a better one elsewhere. So let's go find it and see what happens. So we took this third section. Now let's go see, I doubt, take two felt like a hot mess. The first part of that was actually good. Oh, that's the one, that one felt really good. So we're gonna take this section of that, okay? So I'm not, I'm gonna continue, let's just show you what happens here when we, we have to unsolo the take or the l the layer, so now we're listening to our comp. And if you zoom in real close, you'll see Studio One automatically put some crossfades in. We can still adjust them, right? Like this one is in the, a little bit of the wrong spot. This needs to come back a little bit. We can totally adjust that, but it went ahead and did the crossfade because it knows that crossfades are good practice, so it did it for us. So let's listen to the entire com comp together, see how it's working. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like one take. The only flub I heard was the reverb here to here was a little different. So let's just slide this. By the way, it's right now it's snapping to grid. You can temporarily disable that by just holding down shift. So we'll go to about right there. So this, this little gap should sound a little better. Now let's just real quickly, since we're already here, let's go ahead and finish. I need to finish this in real life anyway, so let's do it here on the video. I think take one was good throughout the rest. Let's just see. Yeah, that's...
that's the one. So we're just going to take the rest of take one. Be Don't be super picky with this. Just a kind of public service announcement. Yeah, this that spot needed to be punched in. But if you're going in and you're literally punching in every single note, there are situations where that works perfectly and hats off to you. But a lot of times, letting yourself use bigger chunks as you're comping is probably better off. You're still getting the benefit of comping without like getting so bogged down um, in the detail. So we basically took... We didn't touch poor take number two. Sorry, take two. You didn't earn your way. We basically took the two. This is take one. This is take two or take three. And we combine the two together to give us something that I think is pretty special. And I'm going to add a little butter compression to this. Um, if you haven't seen butter compression, it's just threshold all the way down and then turn the ratio up a little bit just so it's a nice smooth compression. Let me do that real quick, and then we'll see how it sounds with everything else. I like that a lot. Let's see how it sounds in the old mix. So here, let's give a couple of measures coming into it so we get the feel for it. Here we go. With such an, with it being such an ambient song, actually adding some of my big plate to that, which already had some spring reverb on it, I think actually works pretty well. muffled kind of lo-fi ish but I kind of dig it a lot so I needed to do that guitar over again and now I was able to show you how to do comping so what, where do we go from here you can just leave it close those layers down so you don't ever see them again and that's fine they are saved with your session so they're always there unless you literally delete those layers and then remove unused audio um, but from here I mean I'd clean it up and if you decide you just don't like the look of the comp you could just bounce it all together. If you're a little paranoid that you might want to go back and adjust the edit and you don't want to like, you want to future proof yourself, here's what I would do. I'd get it just how I like it. And then I'd come up here and I'd say duplicate layer. And then I would call this one consolidated. Then when I'm looking at this list, I know solo, 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 comp, consolidated. Also, I don't know what that fourth one is. Um, consolidated. And now I can come in here with the consolidated layer, close all the layers, select it, and then just hit Command B for bounce, and it just creates an audio file of everything kind of grouped together. Sounds exactly the same, um, but if I decide later, oops, I messed up an edit, I can always delete that, and I can come back to our comp layer and grab the original audio. So no harm, no foul, nothing super destructive done. But this feels delightful. Thanks for watching. See ya.